Hey there guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yvonne Candy and on this channel I share about home styling, home decor, that kind of thing. So if it's something that you'd like to see or, or it's something you'd love to watch, then uh, hit the subscribe button, join the family. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every other time that I upload. Now today I'm just going to do the video or today's video with a very big smile on my face because I'm so, so proud of myself and I'm so happy to see how the room has turned out. It has been a minute. I've been wanting to do this video for a minute and I'm happy that I'm finally getting to share it with you. And I'm hoping that you guys have loved how the room has turned out, have you? It was really a fun project for me. It was also a bit of challenge for me, a challenge that I was that I was happy to, to handle and I'm happy that the room has turned out as it has now when it comes to today's video well before i go on i did a decor haul video last week and uh in case you want any of the things that i have in this room i shared it in that video where i got them and the prices so you can go check that video after you're done watching this video so uh to get started now with today's video what i'm going to do is more of share with you some of the tips that i've worked I feel that have worked for me when it came to decorating this space so i don't want to just tell you i put pillows i put bedside tables i placed a candle no i want to be able to share with you some of the tips that i feel worked for me when it came to decorating this space so to get started i want to begin by talking about the kind of style or the kind of vibe that i was going for uh when it comes to my bedroom and i'm more into the scandinavian minimalist style so it's something that I was trying to bring in or to work with uh, when it comes to my bedroom. And what I believe is when it comes to a Scandinavian style, I feel like you want a very bright and light uh, interior. So uh, work with neutral colors and that's what uh, that's why I painted my, my walls in a light gray. And I also painted my bed to also fit in my design style. So I feel like when it comes to the Scandinavian style, you want a bright, light, clean backdrop. And also you want to be able to bring in neutral colors, lots and lots of neutral colors in the space. Also when it comes to, you know, the room can just be white and, and gray. You have to bring in a bit of color, but you want to bring in too much color. So that's what I was trying to achieve with this space. Another key thing, another key point that I feel fits well with the Scandinavian Scandinavian style is uh, more of functionality, simplicity, and minimalism. So that's what I was going for. And um, I'm hoping I nailed it. I believe I nailed it. So yeah, now to get started with the space, uh, I feel like the first thing we want to talk about is the bed and where you want to place your bed. You want to place your bed on the largest and the busiest wall in your room if you could look back you can see i had placed my bed on the smallest wall uh in this room and what that did it kind of made my room feel smaller than it was and it also did not help divide the space for me because i want to believe i have two sections in this house i have where i have in this room i have where my bed is and i have where my wardrobes are which is more of a dressing space for me so i wanted to be able to divide those two spaces and changing up the bed and bringing it on this wall helped create that space for me, helped uh, divide the space up for me. So a tip I would have for you is place your bed on the largest wall of your room, also on the busiest wall of your room. And again, before I forget, don't, uh, okay, put your bed on the opposite side of your door where you walk in and it's the focus, you know, it's the focal point where you can see because it's your bedroom, the bed should be the focus. So when you walk in, it's the first thing you want to see. Don't place your bed where the where the door is. So when you're opening the door, you're struggling to see the bed. I don't think that is cute. You want to open the door and see the bed in front of you. So make sure you put it just opposite where your door is. Now, when it came to styling the bed, uh, I went with lots and lots of pillows. I'm pillow obsessed. You guys, I'm pillow, pillow obsessed. It's crazy. So uh, when it came to styling the bed with these pillows, I picked uh, a dark color for the bigger pillows that are at the back because I do live with my partner and I wanted to make sure that his style was also represented in the room and is more into the dark tones. So the bigger dark pillows, 
uh, bringing a bit of his personality in the room. And for me, um, to bring in my vibe or my theme, my personality, I went with the softer color palette with the pillows that are at the front. And I felt like this created a bit of warmth in the space. So for the tasseled one, that is my favorite pillow cover actually and i feel like the the, the tassels and the pom-poms now on the normal pillows i feel like they give me that boho chic vibe and it's something that i feel it's a nice style when decorating uh, in a scandinavian interior so yeah and um I, another thing that i made sure of is my there was color coordination when it came to the pillow covers and my bedside tables if you can see the detail on the wooden legs on my bedside tables they color coordinate now well with my pillows so tips i would have for you when picking your pillows or when arranging your pillows is make sure there's color coordination when it comes to your pillows and your bedside tables the reason being the bedside tables are just right next to your pillow so you want everything to match you want everything to blend in together not much you want everything to blend in together also for the bedding if you can see the detail on my bed sheets we have the white and black or gray stripes on them and i feel like that ties nicely now with um with the throw blankets that i have on the bed this throw blanket i did not talk about it during my decor haul video and it was handmade for me by my mom's friend so i picked the thread i picked a, a dark gray thread and a white thread and she created this pattern for me so i feel like it ties also well with the the dark pillow that i have uh, on my bed and now uh, to the fun part which is my bedside tables when I picked these bedside tables I wanted something small I wanted something minimal something that would fit my space without making it feel crowded my room is small so small bedside tables was a win for me and uh, I love that they have a minimalist vibe they are Scandinavian vibe the style that I was going for in this room and then when it came to styling my my side of the bed or my bedside table i went with a clear vase with a fake plant on it uh also a candle i love candles so yeah i was went with a candle i also went with a book and uh, my glasses now this book it's it's not something that i'm currently reading i've already read it it's just that i felt that it was matching well with the pillows that i have on the bed but uh, on that space i want to be placing my book that i'm currently reading and then my partner's bedside table uh, I went with a frame uh, and a photo of us and then um, an alarm clock and some decor pieces, accessories that I picked from House of Leather. Then my candle and a wooden lid and that's what I've used to place the alarm clock on top. Just the small detail, you know the small detail matters. You can see that lid matches well with the pillow. So yes, that was a nice detail. Then um, now one thing I will say when it comes to decorating your bedside tables is let let everything that you place on that on that bedside table function for you let it let it bring joy to you and uh so functionality is key when styling your bedside tables so bring in things that are functioning for you bring in things that are working for you don't make sure that you don't crowd your your bedside tables in a way that you can't place your phone at night you can't place a book that you're currently reading also if you love books decorate with your books there's no need to bring in other things that you don't really need when it comes to decorating your bedside tables functionality is key as much as you want everything to be aesthetically pleasing you want it to function for you so yeah then uh, another thing another piece is the rug that is on the floor now i wanted a bigger rug for this space i wanted something that would that would go under the bed uh but the thing is my room gets a bit dusty actually even i'm i'm actually worried about all the white that i have in here but i make sure everything is clean so the thing is uh, with a bigger rug, I feel like it's going to hold in a lot, a lot of dust, and I feel like that was not healthy at all. So I went with um, bedside rugs, and uh, one thing about I love about that bedside rug, it's it has tassels on it, and if you can see, it also has um, tones, color tones that are also represented in the room through other through other pieces so if you can see the tassels we have tassels on the rug and we also have tassels on the pillow cover the dark tones it has it's something that is also on the pillow we have the white on it it's something that is going throughout the bed we have um what else nothing else 
on the rug but yeah it matches well now with everything else like there's color coordination in this room guys there's this just there's lots and lots of neutrals and then there's a bit of color and i made sure that that color was something that was spread out throughout the room uh then we also have curtains and for me curtains i feel like they they soften up the space making it super super cozy so uh when it came to choosing curtains for me i did not want something bulky i wanted something light uh you know the kind of vibe that i'm going for just everything light 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 no bulkiness in this room very minimal so i went with sheer curtains and i made sure i had lots and lots of colors on the curtains to also block in uh, lots of light and to you know to avoid people seeing through at night like when you have uh, your lights on so yeah, i made sure that we had lots and lots of colors now i think that's it for the video yeah so what do you guys think i'm just going to do like another i'm just gonna roll the clip for you guys to see the room again and i want you to comment down below and tell me which is the exciting part for you is it the bed is it the bedside tables is it the curtains is it the rug what do you love in this room i think for me hold on. For me, it's everything. For me, it's everything. So I'm just going to say everything. But let me know for you what is the most exciting part in this room. And uh, also, we are not yet done with this room. But for today, we are. And uh, there's still something left to be done in this space in terms of uh, filling up the bare walls that I have. Uh, also, the wardrobes. You see the wardrobes at the back? I hit that color on the wardrobes. So I'm also making some changes on them. Some that almost something that i'm also going to be sharing on the channel and um a plant i think a plant also so those three things and we're done so another thing i did not talk about when i was doing the decor haul video is a mirror i did get a mirror for this room i did not have a mirror so i went to Dika and i had it cut for me i went with the dimensions i wanted and they cut it for me they brought it in and they installed it on the wall uh, I, I don't have a lot of space in this room as I've seen so I wanted to make sure it was on the wall to avoid me knocking it down because I knew I would do that so yeah also I had Chris Degas say there's a place in Gikomba where she got hers so I don't know whatever works for you if it's thicker if it's Gikomba you can go check the two places yeah thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you for the support. If you have enjoyed this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. Don't uh, forget to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please let's help me grow the channel. We are trying to get to 500. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Just anything to do with home decor. It's the only thing that I'll be sharing on this channel. So if it's something that excites you, hit that subscribe button. So yeah. Bye guys. See you on my next video.